Joe's here. We're checking out. Bye. What's the problem? So they scan here at the hotel. It's like being in the airport. So there's an important person it has here. To be a very important person. Very important person. I always get curious, uh, like who is this person? Who is it? We wanna know. We are officially checked out and now we're checked in for a few hours here at Sofitel before we are taking the train, the train to Sapa. Sapa. The King Express is it called. So there are several trains you can take. We were uh, we wanted to take the Chapa Express, but it was fully booked, so now we took the King's Express. It's the same, we got our own cabin, VIP cabin. Okay. Almost as VIP as the person who's staying here. <laughs> but you sleep on the train, so you wake up, hopefully well rested. So apparently it is a pretty important guy because it is Donald Trump who is uh, here in Hanoi. He got all the motorbike lined up and he's gonna come past here. He's staying at the same hotel as uh, my parents. <laughs> Pretty random. He's coming now, he's coming. I'm not a huge uh, Donald Trump fan, uh, just for your information, <laughs> but he's still the uh, American president. He's coming, he's coming there. Hey Donald, hey Donald. That was one of those classical uh, taxi uh, rides where you just get screwed all over. 100,000 for 10 minutes. If, if normally it'll cost 15,000. Amelia? Uh, this is probably the most uh, chaotic Yon, uh, setup. Yon was definitely not born for this type so of So when you get the tickets here, you just have to guess who has the tickets. So like nobody is standing with a sign or anything. They're just wander, wandering, uh, uh, walking around, hiding. And then you're just stressing around like, who has my tickets? I'm like my father. I, I panic easily in, in, in these circumstances. So can, so, so now we're here and it's like, okay, guess guess where the train is. No one knows. SP3. Uh, is that the, uh, the platform or the train? That's the platform. Excuse me, SP3. Uh, coach, nine. Oh, okay. <laughs> I hate this, but I love it also. Kings Express. Kings. Kings. Come on. All the way down there. Oh, okay. It's very cozy. Really I like the cabins, they look so cozy. We have 45 minutes until departure, so what's not to love? Okay, here it is, Amelia. Okay. Lovely. <laughs> Lovely. What is that on my sheet? On your sheet? Already you're complaining. Like, how do they fit four people into this? Uh, like, with I the luggage and everything. Are we not gonna get cozy tonight? No. See you guys. Even though we are on a train, we of course have to do a little house tour. Welcome to our very alternative uh, house tour because we are located on. Uh, I'd say three or four square meters in this uh, uh, VIP cabin. It's called a VIP. We have two bunk beds, uh, bottoms. We are going to Sapa, which is only 260 kilometers away, but it takes eight hours. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> You've already had a glimpse of uh, this uh, this place, so I think uh, this house too will focus on the details. First, comfort. What is the comfort of this uh, puppy? And I must say, it's like uh, being back at the ice hockey uh, field trips where you slept on the, the floor because it's, it's not soft. But it's not terrible either. It's actually, I like, I like rough beds, so no complaints so far. One could suspect that the smell of a, a train like this would not be top notch, but it's a fresh Citru citrusy um, smell. There's amazing art on the wall. Even though we just bought all these uh, things, they, um, I don't know if this is complimentary. So you have chips, um, cleaning cloths. Where, 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 where are we even going? We are going to Sapa, but you already know because we already <laughs> told you. We are gonna go to Sapa to discover nature. 
Well, well. I am excited to go see some nature. Fly some drone again. We're moving. Finally. What time is it? 10.30. 10 10.30? Yep. So we are 30 minutes late? Yes, we are. Maybe we can I guess that's why it takes eight hours. I'm gonna see if I can find my parents. Yeah, that's a good idea. Can you uh, watch the cabin? No guests. So these are the toilet facilities. Not disgusting entirely. This is like in movies, old movies. It's so charming. Hello. Hello. Hey. Hey. It's a really bumpy ride. <laughs> I love how you can just walk all the way through. Hello? Hey! Hello! Hello, <laughs> mommy! Hello, daddy! This is comfortable. You have much more comfy beds than us. I like it. Yeah. It it's is. a bit more classy here. It is. We have cockroaches. Do you have any pets? Beer me up. Thank you, Daddy. Is. Red wine in a cup. It's Vietnamese red wine. Yeah. Is, is, it, is okay? it Vietnamese? Yeah. Is it okay? Yeah. Thanks for the red wine. Yes. Sleep tight. We will. Enjoy the air condition, Mom. Hello. Hello, honey. It's very adventurous. You should try walking through the, the train. I like, will at some point. Yeah? Yeah, of course. We should say good night and good morning tomorrow. See you soon. Good morning. Good morning. How did you sleep? I didn't really sleep that much. I'm too much of a germaphobe. Every time my foot touched the end, I was like, oh, so many people's foot have touched this end. And You're so I'm ridiculous. Too much. I know, I'm too much. We are in Lao Cai, which is a train station in um, half an hour ish. Sun is barely up. And um, exciting times ahead. Check out time once again. Hey, Hello. that's my name. How far to a hotel? How far? One hour. Communication is by far the biggest barrier of Vietnam. From Lao Cao, it takes one hour and 11 minutes to our hotel which is Arabutik Hotel. It's in the mountain. The hotel is right here. Hello, hotel. Oh, that's a long trip. Come on, I can I can hold the water. Thank you very much, come on. This is what we came here for, the nature. And um, we're gonna finish this video because we, was, we actually just wanted to show the train uh, ride. But I figured why not take the camera all the way to the hotel for a little teaser on what's coming up because I think this is gonna be a pretty good experience. The hotel is looks dynamite. We got an amazing view. We can fly the drone here, we think. So, and we're gonna go trekking, uh, trekking, hiking with the local guides and yeah, very excited. Oh my God. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so happy.
This is such a good feeling. It's like eight o'clock now. We're going on a hike in one and a half hour. For 12 kilometers. And then, but first check in, house tour tomorrow in the next vlog. We'll figure it well, out. Well, well, don't, don't, well, well, don't well. spoil too much. No. See you. See you. See in you in the next vlog. Thank you.